everyone and welcome to another Cheat Meal Monday and today we are going to use all of these ingredients to make a cheap meal. So what could it be? From the diary, my grandma Fanny, June 4th, 1942. Today we bought 123 pounds of beef from David Hess. It was a very warm day. Hi everyone and welcome back to another Cheat Meal Monday. Today we are going to make waffles, but we are going to use a basic biscuit mix. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a gallon jug, we're going to mix all of these ingredients together, and this is going to make, you can make Muffins with it, biscuits with it, pancakes with it, and waffles. So it's going to be one of those general baking mixes. So let's get started. A long time ago, I bought these gallon jugs at Walmart, and they were only $4.59. So they're really cute. They also do not absorb odor. So if you're making pickles or something like that, you wash them out, and you don't smell it. So the first thing we're going to do in our basic mix is we are going to put the flour in and it calls for eight cups of flour. So I'm going to read to you the ingredients. One gallon jug, eight cups of flour, one and a half cups of dry milk, one fourth cup of baking powder, one tablespoon of salt, and one and a half cups of Crisco. And that's it. So let's get putting everything together. It says it has a shelf life of seven months. So I don't know about you, but our family would have everything um, eaten out of this in seven months. So I'm going to go ahead and put eight cups of flour in here, and then we'll add the other ingredients. We have the eight cups of flour. Now it calls for one and a half cups of dry milk. And then it calls for one fourth cup of baking powder. Make sure it's baking powder, not baking soda. So one fourth cup. And then it calls for one tablespoon of salt. And I always use sea salt. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix this all up. Make sure this is all mixed up really good before we put the shortening in. And it's so nice you can mix it up right in your gallon jar if you have a wide mouth like this. Now we're going to add the shortening and this shortening I canned because it kept it preserved. See? I did a video on it as well. So it calls for one and a half cups. Now you can always mix this in a bowl if you would rather mix it in a bowl, but I'm all about saving time and all about saving dishes because I don't have ample water here on the homestead, so I don't want to make more dishes dirty than what I have to. Cut it all up into the mixture. I do have a pastry cutter, which works really nice as well, but I would have to put everything in a separate bowl, and I don't feel like doing that. I 
I'm going to go ahead and finish mixing this up and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. So it's pretty much mixed up. You can tell that all of it is in here. And that's what it looks like. Let me clean off the sides. Now you can substitute butter, but if you substitute butter, you will have to keep it in your refrigerator. And I don't have refrigerator room, so I have to have shortening for mine. But butter would be a lot better. It would taste better. It's just I cannot use the butter and put it in the refrigerator. So there we go. Now we're done. So what do we do with this? So we got this master baking mix, but how do we make waffles? So now it's the next part, and we're back. Now, as you see, my waffle maker. This was Fanny's. This was Fanny's waffle maker, and she had it. It probably came from the 50s. I love this waffle maker, and it has a light, so when the light goes off, that means it's ready. So what I'm going to do is, if you have spray, um, if you have any kind of uh, spray oil, it would work a lot easier on these waffle makers, but I don't have that. So what I'm going to do is put some of this homemade pecan oil on it. And we're going to close it, and we're going to wait until the light goes off. In the meantime, so why do we go to all of this trouble making our own mix? Well, for one thing, it's very frugal. It's a lot cheaper to make your own mix than to buy a store-bought. The other thing is there's no additives, there's no preservatives. Next time you go buy some pancake mix, take a look at the ingredients in it. The ingredients are just crazy. And here there is no extra ingredients in it. So you're going to take a bowl, and now it calls for, for waffles. One cup of mix, a half a cup of water, and one egg that's beaten. So we're going to take our egg, we're going to crack it in our water. Going to beat it up. So we're going to take one cup of the mix. That's all it is to it. So in a matter of minutes, if you have this mix on hand, you can make yourself some waffles for your family. And we're going to go ahead and put our half a cup of water and our egg beaten. Because there's dried milk in this, it's going to be very rich and it's going to be very good. So we're going to mix it up really well. And this makes one waffle. So of course you're going to have to multiply that if you're making it for a large family or if you're making it for more than one person. You could probably make this into a uh, two Belgium waffles if you have a Belgium waffle maker. I don't have that. I only have this one big waffle maker. Beautiful. Just a very beautiful batter. So there you go. That's what the batter looks like. Make sure you always label your things because so you remember what they are. So we take this into this, into this, and into our bellies. And it's so frugal, it's so quick, and so easy. So where did I get this recipe from? I got this when I went up to the book sale. It's called Sweet Smelling Aromas to the Glory of God Cookbook, Walnut Grove Christian Church. Hmm, Walnut Grove Christian Church. I have no idea where that is at. It says Minnesota. So, this recipe is brought to you by Minnesota. So I'm going to share with you the basic mix again. Eight cups of flour, one and a half cups of non-fat dry milk, one fourth cup of baking powder, one tablespoon of salt and one and a half cups of Crisco or butter. If you're using butter, you have to keep your mix in the refrigerator. If you're using Crisco or any kind of shortening, you can have it on the shelf. We're going to stir all the dry ingredients together. 
and it makes up to 10 cups. If you want to make biscuits with this mix, you're going to add 2 cups of the mix to 1 third to 1 half cups of water. If you want to make muffins with this mix, 1 cup of mix, 3 tablespoons of sugar, 1 third cup of water, and 1 egg beaten. And add whatever you want to your muffins. If you want to make waffles, 1 cup of mix to 1 half cup of water to 1 beaten egg. So as soon as this light goes off, we're going to pour our batter and we're going to make our waffles. Oh, the light just went off. And I'll get back to you when it's finished. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see. So many of you I'm sure are asking, okay Tessie, sounds great and everything, but how's it going to come out of the waffle maker? Take a look. See how it bakes? Look at that. It comes out clean. Totally clean. Perfect waffles. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I will be using this baking mix as my staple food for making pancakes or waffles. So now, for the last part of this presentation. I have a friend, her name is Susan Sullivan, and she is making something called shag bark syrup. Shag bark is a tree. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's been getting big reviews and she also sells it. If you're interested in any of this, you can let me know and I will give you her information. So I have not tried it. I have not even opened it up. So we are going to try it. We are going to try it first hand. Now on your waffles you can put butter on as well, but I'm not using butter today. Well, here's the moment of truth. That is amazing. Uh, shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, Susan, I know you're watching. Um, I'm going to be ordering another one of these. It's so good. Oh my word, this is amazing. Shag bark syrup. Mmm. Mmm. If this doesn't make you hungry for breakfast, I don't know what else would. It tastes like maple syrup, but thinner and more of a nuttier flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Well, my friends, I want to turn off the camera so I can finish eating because this is amazing. So, from start to finish, a basic mixing mix and voila, we got waffles. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow.